guys uh, in this video I have brought some interesting question from equilibrium to solve uh, let's do it so here we go this is the question the question is asking determine the force in the supporting cables the CA and CB and CD required to hold the 500 LV crate in the equilibrium position as shown so this is our picture and all the distance are given let's do this so first of all I have to find the uh, unit vector of CA, CB and CD so in order to do that I have to first find the coordinates of A, B, C, D let's find it so if I uh, find the coordinates of A if the x axis it's a 2 meter distance 2 feet distance so it's going to be 2 and in the y axis is 0 because this is along x axis therefore y axis is 0 and uh, c axis is, it doesn't have any height therefore c axis is 0 and if I take b b is opposite to our x axis therefore it's going to be negative 2 and it doesn't have any y axis and that's 0 and it doesn't have any height therefore c is 0 and if I take C, C is along with the y axis, therefore x, x, x is 0. But in the y axis, it's 6 feet distance. And uh, it, uh, according to this picture, the y is, uh, y, is, uh, y is drawn this side. So therefore, it's positive 6. And it doesn't have any height, therefore, height is 0. And if I take D, D, does, uh, D is along with the y axis therefore x is 0 and uh, y distance is 6 feet from here and 6 feet from here therefore it's 12 feet 12 and it has 8 feet height so C is going to be 8 so these are the value and they have given uh, that uh, it holds a 500 LB crate therefore the weight is 500 LB So from this information, first I can find the unit vectors of each. So first, uh, let's start from the GCA. So if I calculate GCA, it's going to be CA over CA magnitude. So to calculate CA, first of all, you have to uh, know the number. Like if it's GCA, you have to deduct a C from A. So first uh, A comes. So it's going to be two minus. 2 minus 0 is going to be 2, 2i plus then uh, a, a minus c, right? So 0 minus 6 is going to be negative 6j and uh, a minus c, so 0 minus 0 is going to be 0k. Okay. So this is my uh, ca and now I have to find the c magnitude a. So in order to find that I have to uh, square root it and square it. So 2 square plus minus 6 square so this is going to be my e magnitude so if I find the value it's going to be 2i minus 6j over square root of 4 uh, plus 36 is going to be square root of 40 I can write it as uh, 2 root 10 2 root 10 because 40 is 4 multiplied by 10 so 4 out comes out of the out of the root therefore it becomes 2 2 root 10 and now I can simply divide these two values by 2 it will give me i minus 3j over root 10 so this is my GCA and now according to the question I get I have to find GCB so in order to find GCB I have to deduct uh, C from B so CB it's a GCB is going to be CB over CB magnitude so which is going to give me what B minus C. So B minus is negative 2 minus 0 is going to be negative 2i and uh, 0 minus 6 is going to be negative 6j and 0 minus 0 0k over uh, it's going to be square root of negative 2 square plus negative 6 square. So the bottom value, value is going to be same because if you square negative or positive value you're going to get the same number and if you square uh, square root it is going to be same value so it's going to be 40 here so if I take that 4 out it's going to be 2 root 10 and it's going to be it's going to be same like a, let's see 2i minus 6j over 2 square root of 10 
so if I divide both by 2 it's going to be minus i minus 3j over root 10 so this is my UCB now I have to calculate UCD UCD is going to be equal to CD over CD magnitude so if I calculate CD, CD is uh, D minus C 0 minus 0 0 0 i plus uh, 12 minus 6 is going to be plus 6 j and 8 minus 0 is going to be uh, 8 k plus 8 k over square root of 6 square plus 8 square 6 square plus uh, 6 square is 36 8 square is 64 64 plus 36 is 100 so square root of 100 is going to be 10 so both are going to be divided by 10 6 j over uh, 6 a plus 8 k over 10 now uh, this is uh, if this if something is equilibrium then uh, it means uh, if I add all the force together and the weight together it must be equal to zero so first uh, we have found the unit vectors if, if I simply multiply by the force of this it's become the force of it right so uh, for UCA if I, I had to multiply by FCA I had to multiply this by FCB and I had to multiply this by FC D to get this force so simply let's uh, form an equation for this so sigma f is equal to 0 sigma f is equal to 0 this is my equilibrium so I am going to add uh, everything so uh, what I am going to do is instead of writing 3 equation I am going to separate ijk uh, ijk and add it uh, and equalize it, to, equalize it to 0 so let's separate the ijk so if, if you see the UCA equation uh, it's uh, i over root 10 is my i so i over root 10 root 10 f uh, it's a fca fca plus uh, if you see the second ucb it's a uh, i o negative i over root 10 is my i value so negative i over root 10 fcb fcb if you see it's UCD there's no i so this is these are the two values for i let's do the let's do the uh, j values so if I uh, look at the UCA it's going to be minus 3j over root 10 FCA minus 3j over root 10 FCA FCA and uh, uh, if you if I look at the UCB it's going to be minus 3j over root 10 FCB and if I look at the FCD it's going to be 6j over 10 FCD plus 6j over 10 FCD so these are the these are my j values now I am moving to the k values so since we have only one k left here because UCA doesn't have a k UCB doesn't have a k but UCD have a k it's 8k over 10 8k over 10 and don't forget guys uh, if uh, weight is acting it's uh, acting downward so it's in the z axis therefore it's also a k so it's going to be negative because it's acting downward negative 500 Okay, so which is uh, all together it's going to be equal to 0 uh, and 8k it's uh, FCD right FCD so first of all I can uh, let's get rid of the old IJK and uh, let's treat the numbers and FCD right so because if I get the FCD it's going to be C equal to this FCD so everything is going to be same so let's uh, from these three this the first equation has two uh, unknown variables the second equation has three unknown variables but if you look at the k uh, equation it has only one unknown variable therefore I can use this to find the FCD so 8, 8 over 10 FCD minus 500 is equal to 0 therefore FCD is going to be equal to 500 times 10 over 8 which is going to give me uh, 625 lb so from this uh, equation I can uh, 
now if you look at this we have a equation with the FCD here the J equation is with FCD therefore I can use this uh, FCD to that one and I can form two different equations for, for first of all I can just make this equation FCA uh, this first equation FCA over root 10 minus FCB root 10 which is equal to 0 so this is my equation 1 and from this one I can say minus 3 over 10 root 10 FCA FCA minus uh, 3 over 3 FCB over root 10 plus uh, 6 over 10 times FCD we have already found out here so I'm going to directly put that FCD value here it's going to be 625 so now what we, what we can do is uh, this is this value is going to be 375 let's see so if I I'm going to I, I'm going to move these two both of them since both of them are negative I would like to keep it in positive so I, I'm going to move both of them to the other side and let's see what happens so 6 times 625 over 10 is going to be 375 that is 375 is equal to uh, positive root 10 3 over root 10 FCA plus 3 FCB over root 10 so this is my uh, this value so now what I can do is uh, I can take the ten, uh, root 10 as common denominator and on the top I can take 3 common 375 I can take 3 as common common number here FCA plus FCB and over root 10 now I would like to get rid of all these numbers so uh, in this case I'm what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply this root 10 by this number 375 over times root 10 and uh, divided by 3 so I will get rid of all the number and I will end up with FCA plus FCB so FCA plus FCB is going to be equal to 375 times root 10 over 3 which is going to be equal to let me calculate so here we go so 375 times uh, root 10 square root 10 and it's divided by 3 which is equal to 395.28 395.28 so this is FCA plus FCB so we have an equation one here so what I can do is I can take the root 10 for common denominator for the equation one so I am putting the equation one right here um, it's FCA minus FCB over square root of 10 is equal to 0 so what you can do is now if I take this root 10 and bring to the other side it's going to be multiplied by 0 and become 0 so uh, we can say FCA minus FCB equal to 0 so it means FCA is equal to FCB So if if FCA is equal to FCB, we have an, another equation here. Yeah? FCA plus FCB is 3912. So instead of FCB, I can write FCA again. So it's going to be 2 FCA is equal to 2 FCA is equal to 395.28. So FCA is going to be 395.3 over 2. So which is going to be uh, my final answer is uh, 197.64 so 197.64 if FCA is 197.64 then uh, we have found FCA is equal to FCB so FCB is also same number FCB is going to be 197.64 now we have to carefully read the question the question is asking determine the force in the supporting cables FC uh, C A C B C D because to hold the final result. So they, they are asking for F C A F C B F C D. So we have found all three uh, all three valuable. F C D is six hundred twenty five L B 
and FCB is 197.64 LB and FCA is 197.64 LB so this is my final answer for the question I hope you guys enjoy this video see you next time